Hey everyone. Recently, the ML.NET model builder tool has been updated and it includes a couple of cool new things. So in this video, I wanted to go over the two new types of models it can build for you. Image classification and recommendation. First of all, if you haven't heard of the ML.NET model builder, it is a Visual Studio UI tool that you can use to build models for you and it generates the code. And to get started, Run the page for it. You can click the download button and it takes you to the Visual Studio Marketplace where you can download it. If you already have it installed and you want to update it, just go to Tools, Extensions and Updates. And then uh, in the Updates part here, you will see it listed. Here's an update. All right, so let's get started. I have uh, just a regular console project here. And let's go into the model builder here. So I do Add and Machine Learning. And uh, it tells me what scenario to pick out. So first, let's look at the recommendation model that you can build. And I'll give it a file. There you go. And I can select what column it needs to predict. And that's going to be the ratings column. Select the user column and then the item column. It's going to be user IDs and then book IDs for the book recommendation model that I want to build. And I select train. And I give it the number of seconds that I wanted to train. And here, I'll just give it 30 seconds. And as it trains, you can see the output in the output pane here. So we'll just let this run and be back in a bit. All right, so our training's complete. And you can see it displays our top five models here. And then next, we can go to Evaluate. And it gives us an R squared here. And it gives us an option we can try our model within the, the .NET tool here. We give us some values of the user ID and the book ID. And we can click Predict here. And it gives us a predicted rating for the book for that user. And it does give us uh, top recommendations for that user as well. And we click code to generate our code and then add the projects to our solution. And then over here we have our model builder projects here. And then we can just go mark the console app as our startup project here. And we can run it real quick. And the code that it generates is pretty much the same that it did before. There you go. So it made a, a sample prediction for us, uh, that same uh, user and book ID that we did earlier, and it gives us the same rating for it. So that's an easy way to build a recommendation model there. All right, so one thing I want to show here in this recommendation model is if we go to the code and look at how it builds, how I built the model and look at the metrics factorization trainer, look over here at the options, added a bunch of hyperparameters for us. That's kind of lets you know that it's going through a bunch of these during the training session and it's trying a bunch of them so it gives you the best model that it can within the training time that you give it. So all right, let's go look at the other model that we can build in the new model builder. I'm in a new console project here and I'm gonna add another machine learning project. And we have image classification as one of our choices. So we select the folder of our data and it has to be in this folder structure uh, where the folder defines what label it is, and then within that folder are all the images for that label. All right, so I got this wine data, and we have a folder of red and white wine, and so each it's going to be a photo of that specific wine within it. And I just want the model to determine what type of wine is in the photo. So I click Train, and here we have the option of training locally. You can also train in Azure, uh, but I'll just keep keep it locally here. And notice we don't specify the number of seconds to train. And that's because it, it automatically sets the training time based on the size of our data set. So I click start training and then we'll let that train for as long as it takes. And we'll come back when it's done. All right, so our training got complete here. And so well, I'll click on evaluate. You can see you have an overall accuracy of 100%, which is, uh, which is nice. And here we can try our model again. We can select an image. And I have a test folder here. So let's look at a red one. All right, so 94% red, so that's nice. We can try another image. Let's try a white one. And 99% white, so so far so good on our image classification model here. And we can add the code to, to our solution. And we can go over and run this as the startup project and run it real quick. It's going to use one of those images as a sample image. There we go. So actual label red, predicted label red, and it gives the, the two scores. So 95% red 
and uh, about 5% white. All right, so that's just a bit of a taste of what's new in an ML.NET model builder. Uh, feel free to play with it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.